Hello and welcome to another tutorial from the Dwarfins. This one is on online meals. What are they and how can you use them? Uh, this is a brand new feature in version 3 and it's going to make, we hope, your life a whole lot simpler. Uh, online meals are specifically meals online, as the name suggests. Uh, they can feed both longhouse Dwarfins and in-world Dwarfins and we make it real simple to do so. So without further ado, let's get started here. Once you've logged into the Dwarfins webpage, you're going to see online meals in the upper right. Currently, I have 100. Another place to see them is in your longhouse, and you'll see them there on the upper left next to the little ham icon. So the next question you're going to ask is probably, well, how do I get online meals? Well, there's two ways. Let's go through the first one. If I pop into Second Life here, and this is the view you'll probably get when you land in the Dwarfins sim, you would just walk straight forward. Sorry, I'm flying like a drunken madman here. This is the online vendors for online food. Sorry, the vendors for online food. And they come in a range of sizes and a uh, range of prices. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy the cheapest one, the 52 Linden one. This is worth 28 meals. I'm in unavailable mode, so I'm just going to get out of that. That's a bad idea. So, I purchased the meals, and I know you folks don't read these things a lot. I don't read them either because there's a lot of stuff in SL, but if you do pay attention to the, the text that pops out, it just says, Thank you very much. 28 meals have been added to your online account, and you can view them at our webpage. So, I bought 28. I had 100 before. So, if I just refresh the webpage here, you'll see it bumps up to 128. So that's one way to get our meals, and um, if you want to use them in world for your in world dwarfins, ones that have been resed in Second Life, you're going to need a little handy helper here called the ice box. Whoop, and that's it right there, and that's free. There's a picture of it right there. Let me pop over to my home sim here and show you what it's all about. So this is what I had down. Remember, I had 128 meals, so if I left click it, oh, looks like one of my two dwarfins here just ate a meal, so it's 127 now. Uh, this has all the same options as our normal food does. If you long click it for one second, you get the, the pop up menu. So I can feed uh, every dwarfin on the sim or the parcel or, you know, the, within 20 meters, or I can just feed my own with owner only. I can feed group. It's all the same options as it was before. Once again, to reiterate, the icebox is only for in-world Dwarfins. Um, there is no way to buy from the icebox. You have to do it back at the vendors I just showed you. Uh, another question one might be, well, what if I have two iceboxes out, or what if I have 50? Well, they all pull from the same source. So if you notice, that one's 127. I click the other one, 127. Uh, when a Dwarfin eats off one of these, and all of them eat at one at a time, both numbers would drop down. Like Again, again I say it's the, the same source for all iceboxes. So you're not dividing them up by a parcel or by a group or whatever. It's all from the same source. Um, the other way to get online meals is back on the web page. We want to go to Player Links and My Pantry. If you've used any of the gardening or the fishing or the brewing, uh, you'll have items in here, hopefully. And there's a new option now under the Deliver button for ingredients for Send to Online Meals. So as I said, I had 127. If I'm going to add 30 meals from this corn, we should jump us up to 157. And there we go. And the little confirmation here says that you've successfully added to online meals as well. That's ingredients. Uh, let's pop over to recipes. So I'm going to add 110 meals here by sending a potato chatter on, so onto online meals. So that should move us up to 267 once I do that. So once again, send to online meals. And there you go. There's one exception here. Mashes are not worth meals at all. They're basically, you can think of them as seeds. They go into a brewery and create a liquor. So if I wanted to get the meals for a grog mash, I'd have to go ahead and make the grog here, and then I could get the 128 meals that a grog gets you, just so you know. But you can't still deliver these in world. You just notice there's no send to online meals button here in this case. Also, if you have longhouse dwarfins, and let's pop over to that screen, 
Again, notice the, uh, the, the males matches the upper right. My longhouse dwarfins will eat from the longhouse meals as well. So whether they're in the longhouse or in the world, there's a way to eat online meals. I hope this covers all the questions you have, and I uh, want to thank you for watching. Have a great day.